and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be going over what you want to be doing with your coins and your trophies and genuinely... Well, generally, before Series 4 drops tomorrow. So the special stream will be tonight at about probably 7 p.m. on the EA Twitch channel. As per usual, you guys already probably know the deal with that. So they will be announcing tonight probably the Series Master, all the Series information, new solo challenge, pretty much everything that involves Series 4. And as you guys know, when Series 4 does start, which is tomorrow probably at 10.30 officially, Series 3 is going to be gone and our trophies will be split in half. So it's very important that we do certain things before the thing ends or the series ends in general because once it ends, we cannot go back. So you kind of want to either keep or sell depending on based on what you got. I'll explain all that as we get into the video. But I did set my goal to get a thousand trophies before series four started. I, I, I fell a little short, which isn't bad. I was at like 300 trophies. I did make it up to 730, which does kind of suck that I made all those trophies. I'm not going to get my job out of collect. Well, I did come pretty close though, which does suck. But before we get into the video, guys, as you do know, it is the 25 days of Poodmas. As per usual, guys, all you gotta do to enter the giveaway is comment down below the secret word and your console, like the video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win. It's been going pretty good, guys, so let's keep going. Hopefully, Zero Chill starts soon so we can start ramping up these giveaways and keep progressing on, on onwards in general. But that is about it for that. Now, let's get into this video. So, first things first, when it comes to trophies, when you do go into Series 4 tomorrow, your trophies will be cut in half from what you have. So, there's two ways to go about this. You can spend your trophies to avoid them being cut in half, or or you can hold on to them and just take the half cut and then just start with the, uh, like an advantage, like a head start in Series 4. So, it'd be nice if we already knew what the Series Master is going to be. So, my best advice to you guys is tonight watch the stream and see who the Series Master is going to be and see what's coming out. See if there's going to be like, if there's Series 4 Master like Christian McCaffrey or Mahomes, let's say something really cool. I doubt it, but if there's something really cool, maybe you say to yourself, okay, actually, I'm going to save my trophies. I'll get them cut in half. I'll get a head start to the new Series Master. Or you're like, okay, they're kind of ass. Maybe I just buy John Maddox like them. Or you say, okay, I'm short on both like I am. And then you just wait it out and you might just take your half. It all depends, right? Now, let's say you only have like, you have like 900 and it's, you don't really want to lose the 450. You can go buy Wheel of Coin Quick Sells, which vary between 1k and 50k coins. You can just start opening those if you really feel as though you're going to lose a ton. You can get the 86 plus overall players, which I don't even, I don't really think is that worth it. Considering 86 overall goes for probably like, well, like 40k, not even 35k. I don't think I'd recommend that one. I'd probably, probably better be doing the Wheel of Coins considering you can open about, I can open about 73 of these. So even if it's 1k every time, it'll still be 73k, which seems like a much better deal to me. So it comes down to that. Now. I'm, I'm gonna wait until I see the stream later to decide whether or not I'm going to what route of attack I'm gonna be taking. But as like I said, there's three options. There's you wait and you get a head start towards the series three, a series four competitive master, nat or regular. Now remember, guys, there, what great way to make tons of coins during series uh, any new series is to do a bull rush method all the way onto the series four or the new competitive master that's auctionable. So let's say they announce that the series four is gonna be really good, like a CMC or a Papa Home, something like that. Let's just say, right? Then you're like, okay. Since I know it's gonna be great, I can make tons of coins. So you're gonna see, you're gonna, I would bull rush, which literally just means like I would go all out playing seasons and week and league and solo battles that week, get as many trophies as possible, and go straight for auctionable series for competitive master, because they typically sell for over a million coins the first week or so. And not to mention, if it's a really good one, they might even sell for closer to two million coins. So I'd recommend you go get that done. They are very rare cards because not many people actually save up enough trophies for them. And just off of seasons alone, which I'll, I'll let you guys know, probably the quickest way to get that done, as soon as it does drop is going to be series progression come over here to seriously multiplayer wins when you first start it's gonna be zero you know you're gonna have zero wins if you play enough seasons weekend league and solo battles which I'll, solo battles won't affect it because you'll get trophies but weekend league and seasons if you play enough of these you get let's say if you can come someone get 200 wins in like a week or so which is very doable as long as you actually play a decent amount see me i don't play online as much as i used to but if you do you can easily get like 900 to a thousand trophies just off of this plus the trophies you have saved up from the last series if you do want to go that route Plus, just playing the weekend league rewards, solo battle rewards, and everything else, and super bowl rewards, playoff rewards. You can easily get 2,000 trophies if you bull rush it, and it's easily a million coins. That's a great way to make tons of coins right off the bat if you go that route. And they probably will introduce new solos and stuff, guys. So, the best recommendation I have right now for you, I recommend you go back and you get all the solos done, you gotta get done, because it's supposed to be a hectic week, right? Pretty much. Once all these solos drop, you're not gonna have time for other solos. It's probably gonna be a new gauntlet, maybe a new journey, there's gonna be a new level up grind. It's gonna be new series master go after new John Madden collectibles go after. There's gonna be so many things. You're not gonna have time to play anything else. So I'd recommend 
you clear up any loose end you have as far as matting goes, such as if you have to play your team of the week solos, your NFL 100 solos, your turkey solos, your mud hero solos, I still have to play my mud hero solos, there's still quite a few things that I have not actually gotten across and finished just yet, so I definitely want to get that done. Because like I said, there's going to be a ton of things, that, just with Zero Chill and Series 4 alone, there's going to be a new level upgrade. Zero Chill is going to introduce a bunch of new solos, probably going to be a house rules next week. There's going to be so many things, it's going to be a very busy time of Madden, Christmas usually is a very busy time, they are starting really late though, it is the 12th. And your for today is Elf on the Shelf, comment down below, Elf on the Shelf. Comment your console, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Once you do these things, you're entered to win. Good luck. At this rate, it's looking like the new series or the new promo and everything might not drop until... Well, the new series dropping tomorrow, for sure. But it's looking like the new promo might not drop until sometime next week. So it's going to be very late. So we're going to have a lot of things packed into a small half of a month. So especially if you guys are working at school and are busy, it's going to be a very hectic end of this December. So make sure you're getting everything done now. And what's a good recommendation to let your trophy go? Like if you had 1,800 trophies right now, that's tough. Like you're going to lose 900, but you're going to have a great head start towards the next one. So it might actually be beneficial for you to just lose the 900 trophies. And then straight away ahead, play season the weekend league and get that whole thing. You get that whole thing like a week. If you get through 200 wins plus your weekend league rewards, it's very possible. I mean, that's all up to you. Obviously, it all really depends. I mean, I've seen you guys probably play more games with just house rules alone. So I know it's not undoable to play 10 to 15 games per day. I know it's, I know it's very doable. But... Can I, can I recommend losing it? I mean, that trophy sucks to lose. Like, if you guys if you guys really are want to be a fish and you don't care to get the Series 2 Master Auction or anything like that, you could also just go ahead. And like I said, if you do any of these packs, whatever you think is the best value, like if you want to just open up three touchdown packs, get your guaranteed 65k or whatever, that's doable too. Or you can just take the wheel coin quick sells. Which it really just depends on what you think is going to bring more value to you. I think the touchdown packs probably more guaranteed value. But the coin quick sells a little more fun, a little more, a little more of a, the gamble aspect. Now, it's gonna, what's gonna suck for me, right? Is that I was thinking about it, I have 730, so when I lose half, I will get back about 365, right? So, 730, I'm gonna get back 365. Now, prior, I had about 300, like 60 trophies. I would have had back like 180. So the difference between now and then is 180 trophies. Like I did all that hard work to up here for 180 trophies. So it kind of sucks. Like when you have a high number, like 2,000, you go down to 1,000, you still have a lot. When you have 730, you're going to go back down to 360. It's like I'm just starting again. I really don't know what's better for me if I should just use them right now or save them. I kind of want the head start, though. I definitely want to get potentially the Series 4 Master, but it is worth it. Or go after the John Madden Collectible. Now, I'll show you guys what I mean when it comes to the auctionable aspect of those. Let me give you guys a look of what Dev McCordy goes for now. And this is the final day of Series 3. And this is his price. His auctionable price on the final day of Series 3. Just to give you guys an idea of what these cards sell for. And McCordy wasn't a valued one. Like, he wasn't that great. In comparison to what we have had or we could have let's see mccordy to the devon the free safety this should give us exactly what we need to see all right devon mccordy he goes for 590k 590k and this is the final day of series three so if you had gotten him the first week i promise you this car sells for over a million coins and it, he wasn't that great because again he didn't have the greatest speed didn't have the greatest excel didn't have the best tackle didn't have the best hit power if you give us like a pat mahomes or a cmc or something like that something really cool kind of like how levon miller was and this card's gonna be a 95 or 96 overall. It's gonna be one of the highest overall cards in the game, if not the highest overall card in the game. I promise you, it's going to sell for a ton. And you definitely wanna be taking advantage of getting that card quickly. I might actually take that same approach. It's just that I have a lot, I don't have that much time to play straight, but I was thinking about it. It might be smart for me to go straight ahead and get this. I do need coins. And it's definitely gonna be a good method to make at least a million to two million coins off the bat. See, now if it's like a 95 Pat Mahomes, let's say, which I don't know if it will be, but they haven't put him out in a while. So, I mean, they, they're saving him for something. It's either going to be zero chill or this, but even if it wasn't, if it's just like a decent wide receiver, as long as they give him good stats, he's going to over a million coins. Now, the beauty of it is if it's like a Pat Mahomes and he's that valuable, he could go for like 1.8 million coins. That's a ton of coins to make just by playing the game the first week. Not to mention all the other coins you're going to make from playing the games, the weekly rewards and everything. It's going to be a very profitable beginning of the series, plus you have the gauntlet. Oh, and by the way, something that you want to be getting done real quick. I don't know when they're going to announce the gauntlet master or when it's going to actually take place, but... Remember, when you come down to Gauntlet and Journey, there are two things that you want to be getting done. So the Gauntlet, come over two milestones, all the way to the bottom. You do want your Gauntlet one expert token. Now, I don't know when the rest of the expert tokens are going to come, but I do know that in years past, if you have the expert token done and you have that ready, they do at some point on one of the series release a set where you toss the token in and you do get one of the Gauntlet players boost it's like a 94 or 93 overall so last year you put the token in they gave us a whole fantasy pack of 93s where you can get like lorenzo neal steve hutchinson and a few guys like that so typically it's just better improved versions of the cards you could have got before now i don't know how they're gonna do it this year but i know last like if it was anything like last year it'd pretty much be like how we got the devin white the juju smith and all of them they'll be they'll give us 93 overall versions of them 
which they did say these yards would not be able to be powered up until the end of the gauntlet which is going to be the gauntlet masters and i'm pretty sure if you don't believe me i believe this set is somewhere here to show you guys that it is in fact in the game they just haven't unla unlocked it yet let's go see they haven't dropped it yet, i should say let's see they have a gauntlet set yet the gauntlet one no they don't have it yet typically we're right there with like gauntlet master unless it's its own thing but yeah at oliver devon white during james Leonard fournette juju if they do it like they did last year i think they'll probably just make these give us better overall versions of these cards or like how they also did last year the legend one where they give us like a bunch of new legends like there was sean taylor i believe there was lorenzo neal steve hutchinson and i don't remember the rest but really really good option so i recommend you get that done get your journey token get your gauntlet token that's about it guys i think i pretty much covered everything i want to cover if you're new to the channel or anything, remember to see 25 days of poop miss. All you're gonna need to enter is comment down below the secret word you should hurt already. Your system. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.